This is Jason's Electronics Repair. Welcome to my ER. Today we're looking at a, a UV curable light that is USB powered. Uh, this is recommended by a few other channels. I'm not going to mention them in case it's not of the best quality. Um, it was purchased off Amazon. I'm not going to provide any links until I fully test it. Um, there was already some issues with the specs on it. So, and I tested it and it seems to have some uh, some issues. Basically, it has a power button, but it doesn't turn on and off. So you, to turn it on and off, you have to plug it into a USB port. So if I plug it into this USB port here, it just comes on. See, it's a UV light. Press the button, nothing happens. So I might take it apart and figure out what there to do is with that. So, you know, it's supposedly supposed to be good for you know, doing curing the solder mask, we will find out. We're going to do a little bit of a test right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'll zoom you guys in to right about there, lighten up the image a little bit. And I'm going to take me some UV solder mask here. Uh, let's see if I can get both this in shot here. So I'm gonna take me a little piece of paper, put me a little bit of UV solder mask on it, seal it back up, something nasty. And then I'm going to take my favorite spreading tool, hopefully, and I don't see it anywhere. Uh, I believe it's right here. So, moved it so I misplaced it so I'm going to take this um, and I'm just going to cover uh, cover this area here all these traces right here in a thin coating here just to see what that looks like to see how that cures in a nice thin coat so you know Got that done there. Now I'm going to do a real thin coat here. Just a really thin coat. So we got that on there. And then I'm going to cover a component. I'm going to cover this resistor right here with a thick glob because sometimes you got to do filters and stuff. So. A nice thick glob covering that up. So clean off my cute my toothpick here. This is a brass toothpick. Works great for this kind of stuff. I'm gonna get this out of my way. And then now I'm gonna turn on the light with the plugging it in because it doesn't have a power button, which is irritating. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm going to cure this up here. So we're just going to let it sit on there. Now, that is about the time it takes to do the laser. So let's see what we got here. That's hardish on the outside. That's still squishy on the inside. So we're actually going to take that. And we're going to sit it down just like that. We're gonna let that cure and see what happens sitting on top there. So, so th this light is $17, $18 on Amazon. I'm not sure if it works. So we're just testing it here. So we let that sit on there like that. Don't look at the light. I let that sit there. I mean, it's, it's hard didn't penetrate very deep in there yeah see it's a little soft over here head was in the way it's a little soft over there so definitely could use a little bit more time in the curing cycle but this would be nice you just set it on top of the board and you know move on with putting something back together or a regular repair or something like that I'm going to sit this over there. Well, see, that has cured that. 
It's a little spongy still, but the thin layer has cured. So it's just like with the laser, the thin layers are the best to do. Uh, multiple thin layers, and that didn't take that long. That seems like the thick glob is not the optimum way to go. So put this back on this one. Yeah, that has cured that more, but it is still spongy, so I would recommend leaving it on there for a long period of time. But I like it. It's USB powered. I don't have to worry about the batteries because my battery and my other one is dead already. The 18650 it came with was horrible. So just to have... You know, just to have a light, I could just sit on there like that or... It has a round mount um, for like mounting it on a pole or something. I could find a way to mount it to my microscope or something underneath my microscope and then just plug it in and use it that way. So I might try to see if I can figure out that, um, that switch. See if that has an issue on there. I'm just gonna give this a little bit longer video is only six minutes so this is real time okay so that's better that one is rock solid that one is rock solid my head keeps getting in the way so this is all rock solid this one rock solid this one is getting there, I would say, a little bit longer under there. It'll be good to go. So, I'll let that sit a little bit longer. But it seems to work. Um, I'm going to use it for a couple weeks, and then I will post a link on my community page for it if it turns out to be any good. Um, well, thank you guys for watching. If you want to become a member of the channel, links are in the description. You can also support the channel through donations to PayPal or joining my Patreon page where I do basic teaching of electronics, basic electronics, short detection, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like these little review vlog style videos. If you do, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.